Hi everybody, I'm joining you here from my bathroom, uh, sitting on the edge of my tub, and I wanted to share with you a little jewelry haul, kind of a big jewelry haul that I had from Forever 21. Um, I just always find so many cute pieces, either in their store or online, so I thought I'd share those. And then if you wanna hang around at the end, I'm planning to show my jewelry storage. Um, I've got um, one of those Lori Grenier jewelry armoire things with a big full length mirror on it, kind of like a little jewelry cabinet. And so I thought I would show that to you guys. I'm really loving it. I've had it for probably a couple years now. And one of my friends on here, Tasia, or Taser Fun, as you may know her, um, was asking me how that was working. I said, I'm gonna show it in an upcoming vlog. So let's get started on the haul. Um, the first thing I wanna show you, and this was totally inspired by Miss Crystal. Uh, she did a great haul, um, uh, was it a week or two ago maybe, with some Forever 21 stuff. And, and I think she had this cute little little spike necklace and I absolutely loved it so I had to get one for myself I think it's so cute this one's the silver and then I also got it in gold and a lot of the stuff I have in this haul whoops is gold because I don't have a lot of that in my collection now and I am wanting to wear some more of it also got another long necklace I thought this was really cute too this key it's kind of open here in the top, like you can see through it, it's hollow, and it has just a neat little heart top there. So that one I think will go down even longer than um, these little spike necklaces that I have. I don't know how long my shirt had been unbuttoned, but I just got that rebuttoned. <laughs> Weird. Um, I got a few cute little bobby pins here, and these were a total steal, because um, they're originally like $2.80 and I got them half off. But as you can see, the bobby pin is gold, and then there's a little black heart, kind of a rose gold looking gem on one, and then a um, diamond kind of pave, is that what that is? Heart. But I often like pinning my hair out of my face, so those will be great. Um, got this little trio of studs here. Um, aren't these cute? Just like, I don't like to be super edgy in my jewelry, but it's like these are kind of just a little bit edgy <laughs> the way these studs are. I really like these, these little um, kind of pyramid shaped ones. And these are cute too, kind of point down. These are definitely ones that stick out, like you don't want to take a nap in those or you will probably jab something. These earrings I thought would be really cute for any kind of special occasion. Aren't those adorable? They're black. Um, these stones appear to be sort of faceted here at the top and then a really smooth pear-shaped stone there or just plastic piece is probably all it is. Uh, but really cute little dangly earrings and they're pretty lightweight, which I always enjoy. Okay, get a load of these rings, guys. These were made for me. Well, at least this one was. Look, it's cat ears. <laughs> I could just maybe stack that on with my other rings and it's so stinking cute. I love those little ears. And then this one is little um, antlers. Yeah, let's see if it'll focus. Little antlers. And this is just one of those rings that's supposed to go on just partially. And it cracks me up. I think that's so cute. So I got those two kind of animal related things. And then this, oh my gosh this adorable little bracelet with the gold elephant on it with the crystal eye there. And um, I can just slip this on and it's it'll wear kind of like a bangle, but it does actually come unhinged or it opens up that way if you need more space. And then finally, I thought this was kind of cute, um, this hinged sort of cuff type bracelet. I love big chunky bracelets. This one's not super huge, but gives me a little bit of gold there since I don't really have any gold bracelets like that. So I'm gonna go add these pieces into my little cabinet and then show you around. All right, so here is the setup. Here's what it looks like. You can see I have the kind that is freestanding, but you can also get them where they're just a wall mount. And here you can adjust kind of how much tilt is happening, but you can get just this piece and um, set it on your wall if that's what you want. It has different finishes that it comes in also. Um, obviously I have the white. And then it opens up, and here is the jewelry setup. So you've got 
tons of different places here to put your various things. So just starting over here, here's where I've got my earrings. Um, you can see I've kind of sorted them a little bit color-wise. This isn't so much to like show you, oh, here's all the jewelry I have, but more just, you know, how it's being organized here. And of course, a lot of this is just the costumey kind of Claire's type jewelry that I love. So uh, it's all good. You'll notice there aren't any stud type earrings hanging on this part. I'll show you where those are in a second. But all these dangly ones, they hang in here really easily. And um, a lot of them I've just hung individually, you know, one per notch. But recently I've found, oh, they can double up just fine and create a little more room. So that's an option as well. Um, I hang the hoops in there. Anything else unusual? If you have some extra large or long earrings, they can actually just tuck down right behind the row below them as well. So I've got a couple situations where things are extra long and they're dangling back there. Let's see, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different, oh yeah, I got a big colorful set there. But you got ten different um, sort of rows to hang your earrings on. Then down here, there's a little bar that goes off on each side, and this is where you can stick your bracelets, any kind of bracelet. I chose to put the kinds that I did not think would be easily tangled up with one another. And then further down on the door, you've got a another bracelet area here, some little hooks. Um, again, you could do one bracelet per hook. You could do several, but I've got some of those chains or things that might be a little more delicate. And then right down here, you've got a good place for those long necklaces. And as you can see, like the ones I just showed you, for example, they were pretty long and they can tuck right down into this little pouch. There's a little elastic here and that can hold those pendants and keep them from getting in with the stuff that's over here when you close it. Up top on this part, um, this area is actually designed for rings. I don't know if you can see because it is real dark, but these little sections here, are for rings to be stuck in, and I've done that with some, um, but also I find this is a great place for the stud earrings. So that's where I've put most of my pairs of those. I've also got some exceptionally long earrings here, and I was able to just stick those in. But yeah, this is a very easy place to keep your studs or any kind of earring that doesn't just hang over one of these notches. Here we've got another necklace area. I believe it's a little bit shorter here to here than the one down here low is, so therefore I've got um, quite a few shorter necklaces, but you do still have this little pouch area where I've stuck some random things that I haven't done anything with yet, but um, basically a lot of different hooks where you can put your necklaces. And then down here, I love this area. A bunch of divided little nooks for bracelets or think, I mean, think out of the box, whatever you want to put here. If you've got brooches or big pins or something like that, but this really accommodates nicely, you know, cuff bracelets larger bracelets where they're just really in the past has not been a good place to store them, watches, groups of bangle bracelets, pearls, whatever. Um, it keeps it really nice in there. And basically you're just able to see what you have. So again, here's what it looks like top to bottom. This really is the vast majority of my jewelry. I do have some really chunky, heavy beaded necklaces that I keep on some hooks that are on the back of my closet door. But as far as other stuff, earrings and more delicate necklaces, my bracelets, it's all in here. So yeah, I've had this piece for a couple years. It is, nothing's broken, nothing's caused any issues for me. And somehow, magically, I still have the brochure. <laughs> <laughs> that came with it. Don't ask me how I held on to that, but it it says um, the anti-tarnish lining will keep your silver jewelry from tarnishing for up to 25 to 40 years. Holds 300 plus pieces of jewelry on earring bars, necklace hooks, ring holder, bracelet, rods, and shelves. It locks for privacy, tilts, and comes in several different shades. Couple of wood finishes, and I think black. Too. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.